Hey Capricorns and welcome to my channel. I'm doing your April 2019 general reading. This will not fit with everybody so please just take what fits and leave what don't. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Capricorns. So we will see what the cards tell us for April Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. April 2019. All right, one more shuffle. All right, Capricorns, what do we got going on for April 2019 in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? All right. We have the Three of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Ace of Swords in reverse. Wait too many. The Emperor, the Eight of Swords. And the Prince of Swords. A lot of air energy here. Uh, Capricorn. Either dealing with an Aries or a air sign. What energy are they leaving behind in March? The Queen of Swords. The Tower. The Two of Wands in reverse. Whoa. Way too many. Two more, please. Energy getting left behind. Thank you. All right, your guys' is bottom of the deck and overall shared energy is the Nine of Cups. So um, prayers being answered, being heard, um, you feel like, you know, things are finally starting to fall into place. For you Capricorns, you could be dealing with a situation that's been going on for quite some time and it's finally seems to be working out in your favor. The energy you are leaving behind and not taking forward into April with you, you are leaving this behind in March, is the Queen of Swords. Um, just... Missing somebody, missing somebody, uh, somebody that um, you're almost longing for them. Like you have like inward sadness, but to the outside world, you look very confident, very um, self-assured and very um, like you have your stuff together, but really you're feeling sad. Um, you're missing someone from a distance, but you're letting that go. You're releasing that and leaving that behind in March, um, cutting yourself away from a situation um, that that really had you tied up emotionally. Um, this, this situation really drained you. At one point in time, it started out very good. Um, there was a, a very deep connection there and a lot of happiness. But it quickly got emotionally draining. And um, you were emotionally investing more than the other person or vice versa. And it just became very um, energy draining. Very um, emotionally exhausting. Uh, you are also leaving behind the emotional shakeup, the emotional heartache, the tower that fell in the month of February or March. You're allowing that rubble to to uh, stay there and you're moving forward, moving on from that, going to build a foundation um, that is solid for your future. You are leaving behind the lack of passion, the drive, the, you know, you are lacking drive and confidence in moving forward. You're leaving that behind as well, gaining a new sense of um, strength and courage to move in the future. You were trying to manifest something and it just wasn't coming to fruition. You are picking a path and walking it. You are no longer confused at what direction you want to move in, uh, Capricorns. You guys are um, most definitely manifesting a, uh, a new path, a new course of action, a new direction in which you want to focus your love and passion and desire and truth in. And you are going to find success in that because once again, your prayers are being answered. Your wishes are coming true. So, um, 
in coming into the first week of April, you have the three of wands. So you, your blessings are coming in. You are at a distance from somebody and the distance is becoming shorter. They are coming to see you. You are coming to see them. Um, or you are just allowing your blessings to, to come in. You, you're just kind of sitting back and waiting. Um, you are moving away from a situation that was very hard and emotionally emotional and um, a lot of conflict. You're allowing your inner guide to move you to a place of um, calm waters where you can receive your blessings. You are realizing your blessing is part of the lesson. Your lesson is part of the blessing. You are moving um, in the path of your uh, your intuition and it's leading you right to a place of happiness a right to a place where you can receive your blessings um, some of you are dealing with an air sign as uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius this person is very um, sure of their decisions they think things through um, sometimes they overthink but um, this could also be your energy, Capricorn, where you're just taking a stand for what you want, taking a stand for what you need, and really you've put a lot of thought into this in moving forward. And um, yeah, and you are just no longer allowing your emotions to control your actions because you know if you cut yourself away from the situation, you know that if you no longer allow your emotional um, hurt and heartache to stand and cloud your judgment, you know your blessings are going to come in. That's back to back, three of wands. Many blessings coming your way. Somebody from a distance, um, you're meeting somebody from a distance or um, somebody is coming to see you, you're planning a trip. Um, most definitely you could be um, you know, having to go over water to see this person. But you're, you're making... Um, you're making plans to to go somewhere or for someone to come see you, but this person is a blessing in your life. When you um, don't allow your uh, imbalance of emotions, because this person really hurt you. They delivered you this after the Ten of Cups. I mean, this is a situation where you are very emotionally um, exhausted. And when you... Um, mentally make that decision to move forward your blessings are going to come in and that passion is going to spark back up for you instead of being it in the reverse um with the ace of swords here uh still in april you're feeling a bit confused on this situation on what happened on where to go from here which direction to point my sails and and where should i head um the universe is going to enlighten you why is the ace of swords here in reverse for capricorn Yeah. Okay. So you're going to come out of this time of uh, confusion, um, not knowing exactly which way to go, but not quite yet. It is in reverse. So it's the universe isn't going to make it crystal clear just yet, but you're encouraged to move forward. No matter how slow you move, take one step at a time in that forward direction and you will get where you're meant to go. Um, I just had said this to some other sign as well. It don't matter how big a steps you take, as long as you're moving, you're in the right direction. So continue to move forward. Um, take that, you know, that go within and figure out what it is that you want to manifest, what it is that you're trying to manifest with the three of wands. That's also a card of, you know, creating your blessings, manifesting what you want. Um, go within and decide what direction you want to go with go in and then start slowly moving in that direction and it's going to become clearer and clearer the the more steps forward you take and away from this um situation that was that emotionally broke your heart that emotionally caused a lot of sadness could have been due to somebody in your space having a third party but there was a lot of confusion because there was too much energy here too many people in the relationship and you're very confused by that but you are letting that go you are cutting yourself away from that situation and leaving that energy in march you have the emperor next somebody who is taking charge somebody who is deciding what it is they want and creating it somebody who knows how to run a business somebody that knows how to run a home somebody that just has their shit together and knows how to run their life
you're going to find emotional balance, uh, Capricorns. Um, you're going to meet somebody who is going to help you manifest this situation into a reality. You're going to meet somebody who um, is very business directed, makes, you know, head over heart decisions. This person is very good for your energy space. This person's going to come into your life and just kind of bowl you over in about mid April. And your heart is just going to be so full of admiration, so full of appreciation. Not necessarily is this even like a sexual thing. This is somebody who's honestly coming in to help you, to help manifest your dream. Whatever it is that you have passion about, whatever it is that you want to create, whether that be a relationship, because it could be, or your goals, your dreams, your aspirations in life, what you want to create. This person is coming in to help you and they are going to help you. And you're going to have so much, like I said, admiration and appreciation and love for this person on so many different levels. Like I said, this person um, could come in as a partner, like a love partner as well. Um, and they are vibrating at a very high, high vibration. And they're only going to... Um, encourage you and give you the inspiration to uh, reach that high vibration as well. Why is the Eight of Swords here for Capricorn in April? Thank you. There it is. The creation. You're going to get out of this stuck feeling. You're going to get out of this place of where you are mentally and emotionally blocked. This is not being stuck with somebody or in a situation. This is a mental block. This is um, being trapped within your thoughts because you're you're concentrating on what had happened in the past with this person. So you're being mentally blocked and your passion is you're not able to see your passion. You are getting out of that block. I do see. Let's see. Yeah, this is going to create so much happiness, so much balance. Wow. Okay. So you are getting out of that place of being stuck with that eight of swords. Um, you're allowing your passion to drive, you know, sit in the driver's seat. Wow. Okay, Capricorn. Um, ending your month and your outcome for the month of April in this energy is the Prince of Swords coming in very quickly and delivering the truth. You are coming in very quickly, speaking your mind, telling this person that you are leaving in the past, uh, this energy that you are leaving behind, telling this person that caused you a lot of emotional hurt that you are no longer confused. You have come out of the fog. You have figured it out. You are no longer putting up with this um, shitty attitude of this person, This, this, these petty fights, these hurtful words. Uh, you are going to seek justice. You are going to find your balance again. You're learning your karmic lessons. You're paying your karmic debts, and you are balancing out your energy. Your karma is being taken care of. And you are going to fare on the positive side of this separation, of leaving this situation in the past. And you are going to exit the month, speaking your truth, delivering that blow to somebody, and starting to invest in yourself. Becoming that confident person that you should be investing in your education, in your wellness in your mental health, your emotional health, your spiritual health, just really taking time for you and coming out very, very well balanced, very, um, it never hurts to invest in yourself and by investing in yourself and, you know, following your passion, following what it is that you really want to create, you are going to receive your prayers answered and your wishes coming true. Once you deliver the truth to this person because like I said as you go through the month and you meet this person they're helping you create whatever it is that you want to create with this passion you're finding balance it is going to become clear to you the universe is going to take that fog away and bring you out of that time of confusion and give you the courage and the strength to come forward and speak exactly how you feel and 
and really tell this person that you're tired of this this petty hurtful relationship and you're wanting to end this and balance out that karma and you are exiting the month looking great capricorn standing up for yourself investing in yourself taking time for yourself and following your heart and passion with the truth um of uh, the sword of truth in your hand so very positive for capricorn you're you're coming out of the month single but you're coming out looking better than you have in so so long and you are cutting yourself away from this draining hurtful situation this tower that continuously keeps to be shaking you up with this situation no longer feeling stuck at a crossroads and you're gonna you're gonna reignite that passion and follow that passion create that passion however that fits all right your romance angel advice for the month is to stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you new romance so continue to think positive continue to stay optimistic continue to invest in yourself and that's when you're going to an, attract that high vibration person instead of somebody who is going to bring you this so stay optimistic you have love coming in for you um and follow your heart speak your truth because it's going to lead you to beautiful places where you can um be who you want to be, who you're, who you feel you're meant to be, and bring you in love and happiness as well. So, Capricorns, have a beautiful month of April. I send you all healing, love, light, and God bless.